Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Wine at the Farm where we are tasting some of our splendid wines <laughs> located at Ella Community Pharmacy in Westfield. I'm Dr. Eric. And I'm Dr. Becca. And today, we're going to say, you know, again, happy 4th. Hope everybody had a wonderful <laughs> weekend. Hopefully your companies you work for let you observe the 4th on Monday, which gives you a little extended weekend, but... Mine did. Sweet. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. My employees deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> so this week we are having the J.P. Chenet Rosé Dry Sparkling Wine. Where are we going? What country? Oh, come on. J.P. Chenet. France. There we go. Sorry. France. Um, I don't know any French, so it's not like I heard that. I was like, yeah, that's French. Ah, this girl. After all the French wines we've had, you still haven't caught on to no. any? Oh, man. No, I haven't. So mm. we picked this wine this week because it's Sparkling Wine Week, and we felt like we, we of course, had to celebrate that. I'm a big fan of sparkles. I love <laughs> things that bubble, especially during the hot days, which, you know, we're getting pretty toasty outside these, it's these like things. It's like 95 so. degrees out right now. Yeah. At the end of the video, we'll be also revealing what our top three combined favorite bubbles are. There'll be a little bit of variance, which we'll talk about, but that's what we'll have going on at the end for you today. So, cheers. Cheers. So the one thing I will say about this wine and most rosés is that you're gonna be taking a red and a white. I actually could not find what red and white make this. <laughs> J.P. Chenet has a very large lineup of products. Uh, they're the ones that do the advent calendar. Mm -hmm. So they could have picked from quite a few <laughs> different ones. What flavors do you, are you tasting you think? I feel like it has like a lighter berry flavor. Okay. Not like your dark raspberries or blueberries or anything. Um, I wouldn't, I don't think that I would take strawberries, but definitely like a lighter fruit side, unless there's strawberries in it and I'm just... So fun special. story! Strawberries and raspberries are what they are claiming the flavor to be in line with. Okay. I could find that data. They don't have any data sheets and most of their website's in French, so oh. I can't translate that well. Okay, so I got the lighter berry. Yeah, there you go. Profile. Just can pinpoint it though. Raspberries, strawberries, always, I'm a huge fan of those flavors. Um, yeah. It's definitely not sweet. No, not sweet. And although it says it's dry, I don't feel like it's not dry. Very crisp. Crisp, yes. Medium to light dry. Mm -hmm. I could get behind, yeah. for sure. So one of my favorite stories about these bottles, which you won't be able to see, really but mine. there mm -hmm. is ever so slightly a concave <laughs> indent into the bottle. And the first time we had these bottles, <laughs> Dr. B comes over and goes, oh my gosh, what happened? How'd they get dented? Now for you at home that can maybe hear that, <laughs> this bottle is not plastic. So how they got dented is beyond me. And I just looked at him and was like, I don't know. <laughs> Glass bottles don't dent people, they do not dent. <laughs> But. It's kind of shocking to see that you don't often see dented wine bottles, yeah. so you can't blame me for being concerned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is a very true story. Yes, indeed. I don't know what you could say to make that statement any more different or special. <laughs> Just special. Mm -hmm. Wine novice over here with my oh. dented wine bottles. Yeah. <laughs> So, tap three bubbles. Yes. What are we putting at number one? Number one, we are putting the Asinium Prosecco that we tried a couple weeks, a couple months ago. Yeah, We've it tried it ago. recently. Yeah. Um, that would have to be our top bubbles for sure for both of us. Yeah, I, I still think to date that is our 2021 most surprising yeah. wine. Uh, Absolutely fantastic. I'm 100% in agreement. What's yes. number two? Number two would be the JCB Rosé fruit. So yeah. we went with the Rosé. I would be with that, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, the Rosé, I think, just adds a little bit of 
Yeah. Lighterness, because the JCB, it can definitely have... I feel its, like it's a heavier... It is a very heavy bubble. Mm -hmm. uh, it is good, and it has its place. But if you're looking for something on the lighter side, the Rosé, I think, is a much more well-embodied yes. wine. Yes. And third is the J.P. Chenet. They're just regular brute. You're going to go regular brute? So I could argue both both ways. That's what we said before. Well, this I video. think could fall right in there. I think this one tops it for me, but I do enjoy that flavor profile as well. But I'm going for the summery, light, chill, more ch Well, you can do both chilled, but this is more refreshing than the... I'm looking at the wall. There's one over there. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what are we looking at? Yeah, and that brute that's sitting over yeah. there. So yeah, that I would agree with that lineup. Uh, we have... We got a couple other things that are on the effervescent side that are also pretty fantastic. I think we both really enjoy bubbles. I mean, oh, yeah. we're big bubbly fans as well <laughs> at the store, the two of us. So, yeah. so to, if you're wanting to celebrate Sparkling Wine Week with us, there's this one as well as the other three that we've listed that are great options. Yeah. Your JP Chenets are at a great price point. All yeah. of them are. And we put this one on sale in specific, like we do with all our wines, four weeks on sale. What's the price? Ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine. That's a pretty good price. For I'd a say pretty wonderful for flavor. A lovely bubbly. Yeah. So <laughs> raspberry <laughs> strawberries, light flavor, refreshing, chill. Couldn't ask for much more and some hot summer days. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please press that like button for us. And if you have friends, tag them. And we would like more followers. Let us know what your favorite bubbly is. Ooh, yeah. Especially if it's unique. I'm looking for unique stuff that maybe we could get. There are people out there that I know that really like bubbles, and there's some really good bubbles, and there's some really not so good bubbles. But if you got anything that you're like hard to find or something really special that you found, maybe when you traveled abroad, let us know. Comment below. We appreciate it. Till next time, guys. See ya.